your kingdom mandate is just to get him there. Philippians 2 and 13. Yeah, Philippians 2 and 13. I just want just one scripture. Uh, you got it? For it is God which worketh in you, both to will and to do for his good pleasure. I want everybody to catch that. That you have nothing to do with this. Uh, you have nothing to do with this. It is God working in you, both to will and to do for his good pleasure. In other words, uh, I know the thoughts that I think towards you, say if the Lord. That means whatever you like to do in life, heaven put it inside of you before you were born. Uh, but whatever you are drawing to, wherever you live right now, wherever you work, whatever you do, it was set up by heaven before the foundations of the world. Why? Because there is a war going on between heaven and hell that existed before you got here. And the Bible says that the earth is the Lord. And so what happens is you need to understand this. You were not converted to be a church member. You, you, you weren't converted. It's a part of the process because you have to sit under the leadership and there's the fivefold ministry, but you were converted to take over territory. I, 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 I want you to hear this. We were called to expand the kingdom of God, right? And I want to paint a picture for you. Uh, 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 if, if, if Jesus comes through 40 and two generations, then what did the devil set up in 40 and two generations? Y'all didn't hear what I said. You didn't hear what I said. The devil knows that he, when he got the power and dominion from Adam, he understood that he wasn't going to have it forever. He knew that God wasn't going to let him live in that state for eternity. And he understood that one day he would have to relinquish the dominion and the power. He just didn't know when. And so he got busy setting up his kingdoms all over the world. He, did, he, he got busy setting up his kingdoms all over the world. So understand something of this. When God live, makes you live where you live or where you work, it's because you are to go there and drive out the inhabitants that the devil set up in between the 40 and two generations. God, Jesus. You, 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 you got to hear me, everybody. You, you don't work where you work just so you can pay bills. You don't realize that you were sent there to take over territory. You don't. Listen, understand. You remember that the devil says, and he takes Jesus up to this pinnacle. And he says, if you worship me, I'll give you these kingdoms. With an S. Wait, wait. Kingdoms with an S. So understand something that God is not coming off of his throne. He said the heavens, even the heavens belong to God, but the earth he has given none to the children of men. And so what happens is God, when God saves people, it's like a farmer that takes seeds and just throws them out. Why? Because you possess this side of the earth and I possess that side of the earth. But you are to drive the devil out of whatever side that God has given you. That is your obligation. Give me Revelations uh, 11 and 15. Give me Revelations 11 and 15. I, I want to show you this. I want to show you this. I want to show you this. Then the seventh angel sounded and there were loud voices in heaven saying, The kingdoms of this world. Yes. With an S. With an S. Yes. Stop thinking that kings are not just in America. They're everywhere in the earth. The kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ. And he shall reign forever. I, 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 I want to show you something that God is looking at it from a different perspective. You're looking at praise in church and God is saying that's cute. But you haven't driven my kingdom back. 
He said, your shopping is cute, your prayer, all that stuff is cute, but there's still kingdoms out there that you haven't taken, and I'm not coming off my throne, and I've given you everything you need. I've given you the Holy Spirit, I've given you my word, I've given you my son, and you still haven't taken over the kingdoms. You're worried about your life, I'm worried about the kingdom. You're not understanding. And so, and so, uh, uh, your kingdom mandate is just to get him there. What do you mean? Some of you won't lay hands and pray for people because you have put the pressure on yourself like it's you doing it. But if I can paint a picture in your head, all you are is God's Uber. Oh, Jesus, I need to explain something to you on this day. All you are is to just get God there. God says, I need healing, so I need to jump in you and just get me there. Y'all not hearing me on today. You're saying, but God, what if they won't receive me? And God is saying, I'm not worried about you. Just get me there. And when I show up, I'll make sure that they get healed. But some of you stalled out too late. God got out your backseat and jumped in another Uber. You were not you were not converted to be a church member. A lot of people died and all they could say is he was a good leader of the men's ministry, but he cast out no devils. I'm telling you right now, when God comes back, he's looking for the fruit of heaven. I don't care about your attendance in church. When was the last person that got healed through your hand? I don't care about everything you do in life. Did you get God there? Your kingdom mandate for 2020 is just to get him there. That's why some of you can't prosper in your life. Because you are complaining about the territory God has given you, meaning your job. Watch this. My car is the God's territory. My marriage is God's territory. My children are God's territory. My ministry is God's territory. And whatever part of the territory God put you in, he left you the manager over it. See, Satan destroys God's people because they don't know who they are. Watch this. Emancipation proclamation. The slaves were free, but they didn't know till two years later. God's people got the power, but they don't know about it because they don't read their word. God's people got the power, but they don't use it because they think it's just me. No, it's not you. It's God working in you both to do and to will for his good pleasure. All I am is an Uber for God. All I got to do is show up and he'll work through me you don't realize something you are a triple threat to the enemy wait 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 watch this watch this the spirit of the lord god is upon me that's number one then jesus said you'll know him because he'll be with you and he'll be in you so i have him upon me i got him with me and i got him in me that's why i don't run from the devil and that's why i drive him out of my territory so in 2020 devil you got to understand you will not live in my territory you must evacuate the premises because all i'm going to do is get god there and when i get him there when he shows up it's evacuation time in my family in my ministry in my health in my finances in my mind in my peace in my family bloodline i'm gonna get them there it's my kingdom mandate just get them there